I need a bone saw. I'm sorry, I, said, you I want, wish I could. I just want a little tiny slice of this guy's brain. That's all I need, just enough to tell me what's killing Foreman. A thin slice of Joe's brain could also cause a public health crisis. It's not a good idea to scream fire every time somebody lights a match. Don't downplay this house. You put both of them in isolation for a reason. Joe's death elevates this situation to a biosafety level three. Ooh, level three. Did you call Jack Bauer? I called the CDC. Well, tell him I'll be really, really careful. We don't have the proper equipment for you to be really, really careful. You can do whatever you want to Foreman, but the CDC will do this autopsy. Whatever. The point is, we'll be lucky to get results in three days. I told them how urgent this is. And they told you? We'll have the results in three days. Oh, that's a shame. Because Foreman will never get to know what it was. He'll be dead in 36 hours. Maybe this is a toxin. Maybe it's not contagious at all. You're killing Foreman because of a maybe. Well, you have 36 hours to figure out which one it is. Foreman, come here, fast. What's going on? What are they doing the autopsy? You're doing it now. You ever studied how they used to do ice pick lobotomies? I read about it in med school. Why would I? Shove an ice pick into the eye socket just above the tear duct. Bang it a couple of times with a hammer, get a sample. What's going on, huh? Foreman, you can't do it. You'd be in violation of. Can't do the time if you're not alive. You. I need you to suit up. Get that equipment away from Dr. Foreman. Take your time, guys. Why don't you just tell him to go slow? Won't be your fault. Foreman, we don't even know what kind of contagion we're dealing with. Which is why we need to chop into the guy's head. It's dangerous. Not to you, Foreman. There are other ways to diagnose you. Yeah? You have the answer? Foreman, do it now. I am warning you, do not... What are you doing? I don't feel right. He's blind. But he thinks he can see. Same as the cop. Need something to bag the sample. Forget it. You just biopsied a mattress. No, 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 I'm fine. House, there's the sample. Get it. Test it. You gotta test that sample. Apparently, I was optimistic about the 36 hours. Intractable, unbearable pain is up next. Sure you don't want to reconsider that whole autopsy thing? I'm gonna lock Joe up downstairs until the CDC gets here. Foreman, you can't see. Right. House wants to start you on some meds. They're in the airlock. For what? Leading candidate is toxic mold. Is Cameron sick? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. You're casting your net a little wider than toxic mold, aren't you? Guillaume Barre is also on the table. Oval shape. That's either an L or a 7. I'm guessing an L. Lever Fox assume because you can't rule out bacteria. 800, that's the for acyclovir, in case it's viral. Square, no, more like rhombus. That's fluconazole for fungus. You, it's about eight others here. You, you're treating me for everything. You have no idea what I've got. The house thinks this is the best course of action. House is desperate. House is never desperate. Something we give you will work. Yeah, we should start treating all patients this way. When they get sick, they just take everything. It's better than doing nothing. Feeling any better? How are you doing? I'm not the patient. As you said, rate elevated. No. So far, it looks like I lucked out. Cameron, looks like you left the tourniquet on the bed. You can see again? Treatment's working. Question is, which treatment? We'll start weaning them off one at a time. Which one do we start with? care if you do it alphabetically. Just stay on top of his vision. First sign of regression means we've taken him off the wrong one. Latest blood work. Foreman's amylase and lipase levels are three times normal. Pancreas is failing. The toxic side effect of his meds. Field of vision is regressing. And he's reached an eight on the pain scale. The disease pattern is following the exact course as Joe's. Only it's moving much faster in Foreman. Good. It's an anomaly. Anomalies tell us things. Why would this go faster in form and what's different? Could be a different strain of the same disease. Right! We were wasting all this time looking for an unknown disease. We should have been looking for a different strain of an unknown disease. Joe's a cop. He's into physical fitness. He could have had a more powerful immune system, stronger metabolism. Foreman's black. What? 
How long have you been sitting on this information? Lupus, gout, glaucoma, osteoarthritis, hypertension, diabetes, stop me anytime. They all affect black people more than whites. Check everything. Bacterials, fungals, toxins, parasites. Look for anything with a documented racial disparity. Wait. The rest showing symptoms? No. He's completely healthy. Maybe that's the difference between Foreman and the cop. You're dying too fast. Couldn't agree more. Hey, Cuddy. Having a nice visit? What's that? Legionella. Legionella pneumophila. And why are you carrying a vial of it around with you? Foreman was perfectly healthy before he got this infection. Our cop wasn't. He had Legionnaire's disease. Our cop didn't turn into brain food until we cured the Legionella. Legionella slowed down the disease. Why would that happen? No idea. Just know that it did. So you want to infect Foreman? You're going to tattle to the CDC? The meds can't help me, but a disease can? Forget it. Just take the pain away and put me under. But you wonder I can't monitor your pain. If I can't monitor your pain, I won't know if the Legionella is working. I'm not consenting to you giving me... What was that? Hmm. Wish there could have been a puff of smoke or something. It would have been much more dramatic. Keep your slippers on. Wouldn't want you to cut your foot. What type of illnesses affect humans but not rats? Why are you asking me that? Because I'm sure that you spent the first 12 years of your life dreaming of being a vet. The rat is not getting sick. Cameron is not getting sick. Sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. Presumably you're still healthy because whatever it is, not bloodborne. Steve has no excuse. He did everything that Foreman did. Some bacterial infections don't affect rats. Foreman tested negative for every bacterial infection that would affect his brain. And what infections could he be positive for but test negative for? When we test for infections, we look for antibodies. And what if the patient is infected but has no antibodies? What if the body is not fighting the infection? Why would... D I asked first. Let's start with a what. We'll deal with a why later. If the body doesn't recognize the infection, our tests come back negative and the disease rampages through the body unstopped. Exactly like the cop and exactly like Foreman. And what if the patient was then exposed to a second infection, like Legionella? The body would recognize that infection, increase the white count, send in the troops to start fighting, and the initial infection would get caught in the crossfire. So the question becomes, what type of bacterial infection affects humans but not rats and the human body would be unlikely to recognize? The answer is Listeria. I'm starting you on app and gen. So you're basing this theory on the test being negative and your rat being healthy? And the fact that Legionnaires is helping you. But the medicine you want to give me will put an end to that. Yeah. And if it's not Listeria, all the gent will do is cure the Legionnaires disease and put whatever is killing me back into overdrive. Stop asking me questions based on the premise that I'm wrong. Antibiotics during the airlock. I think the first biopsy didn't give us the answer because you didn't go deep enough. I want you to do a white matter brain biopsy. Absolutely. Don't blame you. The world is such a complicated place if you've got higher reasoning skills. I'm often jealous of small animals and retarded children. Take the antibiotics. There can be minimal damage if it's done right. If the surgeons drill where I tell them to drill. One slip. You could spend the rest of your life not being able to keep your drool in your mouth. I'd rather be disabled than dead. Sure. I make it look oh so sexy. It's actually not as glamorous as you might think. The biopsy will tell us for sure what's wrong. The antibiotics could do the same thing. Could, not will. We try it, we see. The antibiotics will bring back the pain. Pain makes us make bad decisions. Fear of pain is almost as big a motivator. Look, we still have time. I will do that biopsy if I have to, but not a moment before. the drill. We've got to be ready to go if we get the signal. I 
screwed up the first time through this place. Foreman told you everywhere he went. It's not where, it's when. He came here early afternoon. Me and Steve came through two hours too late. You were six hours early. It's the water. The irrigation system only pumped. House, I tested the water. The water's clean. Tested the wrong water. He stole cable, he stole fertilizer, and he stole water. It's riddled with nagleria. I know. You already did the biopsy. I thought I had no choice. How's my son? He has primary mimic meningoencephalitis. It's a parasite that goes through the nose and migrates into the brain where it feeds on brain cells. The Legionella attacked the parasite. That's why the disease slowed down. Is it treatable? We started him on an antiparasitic, and the amoebas will clear out of his system. And he'll be OK. And then we'll wean him out of the coma. Will he be OK? There'll be no lasting damage from the parasite. But the surgery. We don't know. 